what started as a snowshoeing adventure Monday, April 28th, Copy on Watchmen. turned into a full-blown search and rescue mission at Crater Lake National Park. We did have helicopters that came here uh, both on Wednesday and Thursday last week and um, overflew the park looking for possibilities. Public information officer with the park, Marsha McCabe, says a man's family called in on April 30th worried saying they had not heard from their relative in days. The investigation revealed some clues as to where he may be. We later were able to connect with someone else who rented snowshoes that same day who found a personal item along the Garfield Trail. And when we investigated that on Wednesday, there were a set of tracks, a single set of tracks, going out towards where there was a cornice that had collapsed. A cornice or a snow overhang is made over time when wind blows over sharp edges, but with nothing supporting it underneath, it's likely to break with something heavy on it. According to McCabe, whoever made the tracks found went off trail and wasn't following warnings to stay away from the edge. There's a lot of um, warning information in the snowshoe agreement, the rental agreement that they sign. Um, the concession employee that um, speaks to them gives them lots of verbal warnings. We have it in our park newspaper. McCabe says if the hiker did take the Garfield Creek Trail here behind me and fall into the caldera as a result of the breaking cornice, there's very little chance he survived the 1100 foot drop. It's a very, very steep slope. There aren't a lot of trees on that slope or rocks that are currently exposed to stop anybody from sliding um, and falling. The news of a possible fatality had some Oak Grove Elementary students on a snowshoeing field trip Thursday a little nervous. There was a few students that I had to um, just really let, you know, let them know that they were safe and they had heard and were worried, but it was fine and they ended up having a great day. Covering your news in Crater Lake, Jessica De Nova, News 10, good morning.